Hello, this is Python in Excel part 15. I'm going to very quickly look at the describe function. I've got a data frame here. It is based on this fact internet sales table. You may have seen some of the demos in other people's videos where you can describe a column or a data frame. Very quickly, you can just put df.describe, open close paren, and it will give you some statistics about that data frame. So you can see it's giving me count, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, some quartiles and the maximum for the two numeric columns. You can actually put include equals all in here and then it will do it for all the columns. The information for some of them will be a bit confusing, um, but nevertheless, there it is. You can do that for a data frame or you can do it for a single column, sales amounts, Dot describe there you have it the statistics for the sales amount column that's interesting to a point when it really gets interesting to me is when we start grouping the data so in this table I have category subcategory and product and order date now let's suppose we want to group uh, the data by category and subcategory so let's say group columns equals df dot columns and slice it for the first two columns and make that a list <clears throat> and then we'll create a group by object called df grouped which will be df group by with the group columns instead of putting df dot describe let's put df grouped dot describe and see what that does it has given me the category and subcategory as groups and then the statistics for both sales amount and for total product cost for those groups. So that is a really cool way to get a really fast statistical description of the groups within my data. Let's just take it one step further just for funsies. We can add to that. Let's say we want to group it by a column that isn't in the data but is a feature of the data so let's take the year of the order date as an addition to the grouping columns and if we put that in a list and we put df dot order date dot dt dot year and we add it to the list that we've already got we'll then have three grouping columns two of which are category and subcategory and one of which is the year of the order date. Doing so changes this to now include this order date column, which means that now every row in this describe data frame describes a group of category, subcategory and order date. There is a small bug here. The column headers are shifted one column to the left, which means that sales amount and count should be in column K but it's currently in column J and if you move all the way to the right of the data frame you will see that there's NA in the last column. I'm sure it will be fixed in no time at all. That really is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.